Welcome back to the Travel Learning Club channel. My name is Olisha Gugidengbe, the travel consultant and your business coach. All right, I want to share something really important with you that I call the four pillars of travel decision. Now, this applies to those who are on the African continent and um, you wish to travel to a developed nation, say like UK, US, Canada, mostly on a visit visa. There is something I've discovered over my over the years and I've experienced um, in my years working as a travel and a business consultant, which is the four pillars of travel. So I will be walking you through them and how these pillars of travel, how they affect your travel decision making and ultimately assist you in getting a visa. Um. So I was talking about the four pillars of travel decision making and the number one pillar is travel purpose. Travel purpose. Travel purpose begs the question of what you intend to go and do where you want to travel to. It's explicitly stating your intention and your purpose and your reason for which you intend to travel to the place you want to go to. Now, a lot of people have experienced visa refusals for the singular reason of not being able to establish the reason why they want to travel. Now, there are several reasons and there are several things that could come up as your travel purpose. For example, you could intend to go and study abroad and that would be a study visa. That means studying is your travel purpose. You could intend to go on a visit. That means visiting is your travel purpose. Now, under visiting, you could want to go as a tourist, okay? You could want to visit some tourist attraction. That makes you a tourist. That, that makes you get a tourist visa. You could have a family member that is inviting you and that makes you go as a family visitor. What am I saying? For you to conveniently or successfully get a visa to a developed nation, you need to clearly state the reason why you want to travel. Now, it is not uncommon for any USA, uh, any US visa interview for them to ask you, what do you intend to go and do in the United States? What do you intend to go and do? What are your opinions? What are your intentions? Visa consulars and, um, Visa decision makers are always very interested in your travel purpose. Now, whatever application or whenever you're set to put in your application to any developed nation, be sure to state categorically the reason why you intend to travel so as to answer the question of your travel purpose. The reason why you want to travel is best known to you. Like I said, it could be study, it could be anything, but make sure that it is tangible, it is genuine, and it is reasonable tangible, genuine, and reasonable, and you'll be on your way to acquiring your visa. Thank you for viewing this channel. Ensure to like, to share, to comment, and to switch on notification. So I see you at the next post. Have a blessed time.